Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl, and welcome to my channel. So I want to show you the new parrotfish I added to the 125 gallon aquarium. I added five more, so now I have 10. And they are getting along beautifully and they really are stunning fish. And I got a surprise um, tank mate today. I'll tell you about it in the video, so please stay tuned. This is my 125 gallon aquarium, home to my blood red parrot fish community. This week I added five more parrots. Two are larger and three are smaller. I did my water change on this aquarium yesterday and removed five large plecos. There's just nothing in here that they can feed on naturally, so I have to feed them. And in doing that, I find they make the tank so dirty. Everyone knows where I stand on that. I do have a surprise addition to this tank that I wasn't counting on. He's in the PVC pipe right now. I do hope he'll come out so I can show him off. He is quite a contrast with the blood parrots. My neighbor, who's also a fish keeper, had him in a 29 gallon since he was little. As much as my neighbor didn't want to let him go, it was time to rehome him and give him a larger aquarium to live in. So, of course, me being right next door, I was a perfect choice. Let's take a closer look at these stunners. This one right here is one of the larger ones I picked up. And here comes the second one. I was really taken with the white splashes they have, making them stand out. The three smaller ones are quite dark and they have extraordinary eyes. I must say parrotfish are quite welcoming. The new additions joined the group immediately and the others seem to accept them as if they've been together forever. So let me share my journey with my parrotfish. It began by me receiving Eric from a friend who needed to rehome him. I was so lucky to get him and fell in love with him immediately. His name was Eric, which suits him perfectly. Eric joined my first flower horn, Humphrey, when he came to live in my fish collection. Well, Humphrey was my first flower horn. Right around the time Eric came, Humphrey got sick. They did meet, but within a week or so, I had Humphrey in a quarantine tank. He never did get better. Not too many weeks later, Humphrey passed away. It was heart-wrenching to me, as he really was so special. But now Eric was alone, so I decided to get him three roommates. I got two tiger Oscars and a baby red devil, and I thought they were going to be great friends. They got along really great, and I was happy Eric wasn't alone anymore. Over the next couple months, though, the Oscars and Red Devils started growing, and with that, they started fighting. I decided it was time to rehome them. I knew at some point I would get a new flower horn, so in the interim, I picked up two more parrots, just to keep Eric company. That's when Emma and Clementine came into the picture. I was missing Humphrey so much, it was time to get a baby flower horn, so I went and picked out baby bogey. Adding him to the tank, he seemed to fit in quite well for quite some time. But slowly, I could see Eric was getting stressed out by bogey bugging him. As bogey grew, he got more pushy. It was clear to me that the parrots had to move, as bogey needed this tank to himself. That was when Eric, Emma, and Clementine moved to the 55-gallon. I had always wanted a 125-gallon, and finally, just before Easter, I acquired this one. Well, by this time, I had upped my parrotfish count to five. Moving them into the 125 last week was a dream come true. It's something I always wanted for Eric, especially feeling that the 55 was too small if I intended on adding more parrots. 
As you can see, I did just that. This week I picked up another five paired fish, bringing my count to ten. They're fabulous fish and so interesting to watch. They're hearty, loving, very accepting of each other, interactive, and even comical with their captivating looks. With my ten blood parrots and this handsome new addition that I will show you in a moment, I am so pleased with how this tank is looking. It's just how I envisioned it. Well, here he is. He came out of his pipe. He is an electric blue Jack Dempsey. He was being kept in a tank that was far too small for him, so I'm so happy to have him in my 125. Now, I don't know much about Jack Dempsey's at all, so I will be doing a profile on this species very soon. He really is a wonderful contrast to my blood parrots. Honestly, I wasn't sure that he would get along, so I did do some research on that to make sure that he fit to this community without a problem, and he has proven that right. Him and the blood parrots get along wonderful. At first, Eric was a little pushy checking him out. But he has become so comfortable in the tank, he explores the whole tank from one side to the other. Look at that face. What an extraordinary fish. Now my tank is perfect. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've had a great week. I wish you a super weekend ahead, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.